Okay. Beware of a Canadian with a chainsaw. I was uh, here earlier today just looking at how I was going to maybe make some stair, a stairway here. Just kind of looking at uh, at the different rocks and figuring out what I'm going to have to do. I was uh, looking at this rock here and I don't know if that's a sandstone or what it is but uh, looks like a meteorite <laughs> anyway found that rock there anyhow yeah beware of a Canadian with a with a chainsaw I opened it right up. So, um, I was out here and Cody came out here and gave me a hand. And, uh, oh, we were only out here for about two hours, about all we could handle. It was uh, quite warm. I think it was somewhere around 32 or 36 degrees Celsius But anyhow, yeah What I want to do is right where that rock is I want to bring Gonna have to bring right up to that pretty well that tree there is I'm gonna have to get all the rest of that tree out of the way And I'm gonna have to Bring it all the ways around there I can keep that tree there, I guess. Then I'll have to bring it up through here and continue on. Because uh, well, I had built this uh, <laughs> built this bridge just so I can get over here because I was just wearing sneakers. So yeah, well, it's as you can see, it's it's open up quite a bit uh, yeah that's right too that's that I gotta try to get that out of there that's the other part of the guardrail that I was going to well not guardrail handrail that I was going to use for uh, over there at the bridge I already have one piece over there but I was meaning to bring that over and I'll probably haul out those two pieces of steel too, see what kind of shape they're in. That, uh, that pail, a lot of this stuff was here, like that, that's not my stuff. That, that stuff was here when I, uh, bought the property. They just left it here. That, uh, metal can and stuff. A lot of this stuff was left here. So, anyhow, uh, yeah, like I say, I've cut down a bunch of this, all this stuff here, because I uh, want to uh, pretty well, I left that, uh, that piece of tree there, and I don't know if I'm going to be on the inside or the outside of it, Maybe, probably on the outside by the looks of this. But I can pretty well see now how the water must have breached after it was frozen. It must have breached and came over here and then went down the hill because you can look. And for some reason it went down our side of the hill than their side of the hill. Unfortunately, it found its way down to our side because, uh, well, there's a big tree and big root there, so. 
But I do remember it going down this path. It went right down this path, right down to our property. And well, if you look there, you can see the portable garage and the house is there too. A little hard to see, but it's there. Anyhow, yeah, it went down that way. So, this is all the trees that uh, we cut down and piled. I'm just going to take the saw and I'm just going to chunk all this stuff up and bring it over and stack it over there by the wood, by the wood fire, by the fire pit I guess. Might even have a fire tonight. It's still, even right now with the sun going down, it's still, geez, must be 26, 27 degrees Celsius. It's quite comfortable. And you can see all the roots and stuff that are hanging around where I was pulling them all out of the ground here. Cutting, cutting, thrashing, going crazy. But uh, yeah, there's a <laughs> Douglas fir sitting here, nice little fir. And I'm pretty sure I hauled out another fir. Yeah, I did. I don't know where it is. It's over there somewhere. I hauled it out of here, hauled the roots and all out. It had to go. Should have should have turned around and planted it again or just dug a hole and stuck it in a in a hole. But we got enough, I guess. It's no big deal. More come up every year. So yeah. I had to uh limb this couple trees here this is mainly so I can just get in here so yeah like I I think if I pretty well go from here from this hill around this corner and follow the waterway here I, I think I should be all right um, geez I'm into seven minutes already Uh, yeah, because, uh, this is all, this is all higher here. I don't think it'll come down through here and go that way. It's always a possibility it could. But it, it would have to go up quite a ways, so. huh? I'm just going to have to definitely make sure over there where that tree is that it's flowing really good there or flowing on the other side of the tree. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's guide wire out here for some reason. This, um, damn mosquitoes. Okay, long enough. Yeah, this is what I did today. Cleared us all out in the heat. It was very hot. But it's just another project that had to get done. I'm just gonna get some supper into me and stuff. And, and uh, whoa. And, uh, I might spend an hour out here just chunking up some of this wood and uh, carrying it over here to the, uh, to the fire pit. I've got this nice little thing here that I bought for $5. It's actually pretty cool. You put that around your neck or you can hold on to that one. 
and then you grab hold of that one it makes a cradle makes a cradle for the wood so you can either carry it with two with one hand or two hands or whatever or one 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 hand and that over your neck and they were only five dollars at the at the uh, second hand shop so I bought two of them so a person could actually have put two of them and carry wood on both sides which would even yourself out which would make a lot more sense and I guess uh, the trees decided they were going to keep growing <sighs> even though I've cut them they're all starting to uh, come back to life but anyhow yeah boys are they ever well it's nice to have this little stream cooler um, you can just uh, if you want cold drink just walk down there and grab one works for me everybody have a great day cheers